सो नेक्स्ट इज वॉट कैश मैपिंग टेक्निक सो कैश मैपिंग टेक्निक मीन्स वॉट कैश मेमोरी ब्रिज द स्पीड मिसमेज बिटवीन प्रोसेसर एंड सी पी यू एंड द मैन मेमोरी येस वॉट इज द ब्रिज ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू कैश मेमोरी इज प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन द मैन मेमोरी एंड प्रोसेसर और सी पी यू सो वॉट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन रिक्वायर्ड बाई द सी पी यू ही ऑलवेज गो फॉर कैश मेमोरी वाई इफ यूल गो फॉर मैन मेमोरी देन ही हैज टू वेट फॉर सम टाइम्स और द वेटिंग टाइम विल बी इंक्रीज सो टू बट योर सी पी यू इज वेरी फास्ट इन नेचर सो टू मैच द स्पीड वी आर यूजिंग विच वन वी आर यूजिंग कैश मेमोरी ओके सो दैट्स वाई कॉल्ड कैश मेमोरी ब्रीज द स्पीड मिस मैच बिटवीन प्रोसेसर सी पी यू एंड द मैन मेमोरी ओके नेक्स्ट वेन कैश When case heat occurs, required uh, this is what already I told you uh, heat occurs, miss occurs. So heat occurs, required words present in case memory is called case heat. Required word not present in case memory is called case miss. And word delivered to the CPU from case memory. Okay, this is what heat heat occurs. If the data is present inside the cache memory, then it is called heat. Heat occurs. If the data is not present inside the memory and go for the main memory, then it is called what? Miss occurs. Okay. So when cache miss occurs, the page containing the the page containing the required word has to be transferred from the main memory to cache memory. Oh, already told you. If the data is not inside the cache memory, then whatever the information required by the cpu he, he will go for the main memory and that main memory data will transport to the cache memory and access by the cpu the transformation of data the transformation of data from main memory to cache memory is called as mapping process so what is mapping process the transmission of data from main memory to cache memory is called mapping process this mapping is performed using cache mapping technique so how the mapping is performed the mapping is performed using cache mapping technique so what is cache mapping technique so cache mapping technique is nothing but the transformation of data from main memory to cache memory is called cache mapping process and this mapping performed by this technique is called cache mapping technique so look when cpu uh, as per his uh, size i draw the diagrams this is what cpu this is the cache this is the main memory and this is the secondary storage device okay so in secondary storage whatever data are stored in a page or you can say files okay and main memory the data are stored in number of blocks okay and the cache memory data are stored in number of lines and the registers uh, having the data in the number of words get it so when cpu send uh, when cpu required any data then he will send a request to first which one cache okay if you if you will get the data then he will execute complete his task if the data is not here then he will go for which one main memory so what if the main memory and the data will be cache mapping to the cache by the help of cache mapping technique or if the data suppose the data is not present in cache memory and main memory then the main memory go to which one secondary storage i told you by the help of io io channels you will access the data because whatever information we are storing in our computer all are stored in which area your secondary storage area in your hard disk and that hard disk is not directly accessed by the cpu he can access the data by the help of main memory are you getting so whatever data is required by the cpu it will go for the cache if it will here then no problem easily execution will finished if it, if the data is not present here then he will go for main memory assume that there is a data is what suppose this is what block number 1 this is what block number 1 which is required by the cpu but which is not present inside the line or inside the cache memory so what happen Now that block data will be mapped to this case and that data will be accessed by the cpu get it so this is the diagram of mapping process so how mapping process is complete or what is the definition cache mapping is a technique which the content of main memory are brought into the cache memory so what is cache mapping technique cache mapping is a technique which by which 
the content of main memory are brought into the cache memory then look look this diagram the content of main memory block bring to the cache memory okay so how because look this main memory size is very big than cache so how he store the data of the main memory so there is uh, number of uh, different types of techniques how the number of blocks will be stored in your cache memory and how this number of um, pages will be stored in your main memory but we will not go for the virtual memory mapping because in our syllabus there is not virtual memory memory mapping technique is there we will just uh, discuss about the cache mapping okay how the memory huge amount of memory information is stored in your cache memory for faster execution by the cpu or to enhance the performance of cpu okay so next during cache map mapping during cache mapping block of main memory is simply copied to the cache and the block is not actually brought from the main memory actually uh, whatever data is required if it is not present in the cache don't think that the total block or information is directly come to here and the there is no availability of that information suppose b1 block is assigned to cache that means b1 uh, now in main memory the b1 is not present no what happened only one copy of that block is passed to cache memory hmm. during during cache mapping block of main memory is simply copied to the cache not brought not uh, totally brought to the cache memory only copy is co bring to the cache memory and the block is not actually brought from the main memory just a copy is done there there are three types of cache mapping techniques how many cache mapping techniques are there three types one is direct mapping associative mapping and set associative mapping so there are three number of cache mapping techniques are there through which we can perform the cache mapping operations okay because there is number of blocks the size is huge so how we can arrange uh, in a proper manner or which technique by which technique we can arrange the block information into our small cache memory get it so now we'll discuss about the different types of mapping techniques first we'll discuss about direct mapping so direct mapping so what is direct mapping technique in direct mapping a particular block of main memory can map only to a particular line of the code the line number of cache to which a particular memory block can map it's given by cache line number equal to main memory block address module modulo number of line in cache okay look look this is your cpu this is your cache memory and this is your main memory so assume that your n memory main memory having 4096 blocks how many blocks 4096 blocks 0 to 4096 blocks 0 to 4095 means total how many blocks 4096 blocks are there but in your cache suppose your cache is what 120 size 120 in size means how many line will be there 120 lines are there means line 0 to line 127 so so in cache memory only how many lines are there 128 lines are there but in your main memory how many blocks are there 4096 blocks are there so how we can represent this 4096 blocks into the cache memory okay so first one is what direct mapping so physical address uh, so look suppose suppose block number 0 is ss uh, want to assess by the cpu suppose cpu send a request for block number 0 so he, what happened so you will go for here so initially assume that it is initially blank so the data is not present here so what happened now you will send the request to main memory you will send the request to so if there is no block number 0 then what happened here you will send the request to main memory so now main memory block number 0 will be assigned to your cache memory so how so when you will assign to the cache memory the memory main memory thing in which place i have to assign the block number 0 in cache memory so there is a formula is what main memory block address modulo number of line in cache okay so this is what block number 0 and how many lines are there 128 lines are there or you can say from 0 to 127 means total how many lines 120 
eights. So let uh, explain through a uh, example, then you can easily understand. And this is what physical address of the uh, direct mapping or your memory. This is what block number, and uh, this is tag line number, and this is block line, or you can say offset. This is the physical address. Uh, how the data is transported to this one by this help of by this address. This is the tags, which are uh, tags, tag, tag, tag number of tags are there and block these are lines so now block 0 is placed in line 0 and block 1 is placed in line 1 okay similarly 127 block is present in your block number 127 huh. so there is 127 so when i will request for block 128 so there is already full if you continue data is present here then 120 where i will place the 128 so there will be it is there will be create a problem are you getting me if there is were 127 line uh, lines then he can hold block number 0 to 127 no problem easily he can hold the data but when i will when the cpu request for 128 what he will do case case memory will what the case memory will do so there is a technique that is called what direct mapping technique or there is a formula through which the block will be stored in your cache lines get it so what is the formula main memory block address modulo number of cache lines so let exam get through the example so consider cache memory is divided into n numbers of lines then block j of main memory can map to the line number that is i equal to j modulo n only of the cache so here i is what cache line number j equal to main memory block number n equal to number of line in case so here num n is what 128 and uh, suppose we want to place one 128 so let uh, throw the example explain suppose n equal to 128 so if j equal to 0 j equal to 0 means block number 0 main memory block number 0 when we um, we know case line number equal to we know case line number i equal to z mod n so 0 mod 128 equal to what 0 so obviously it will place in block number block number 0 will place in block number line number 0 similarly uh, next come to 127 j equal to 127 so j equal to 127 so case line number i equal to j mod n so j value is what 127 means block number 127 what block number 127 modulo 128 so uh, we'll get what 127 are you getting if you modular modular division or modular division 127 modular division 128 so there is what 0 0 0 then means what 127 the remain the remainder will be the result yes or no so 127 so block number 127 will place in block number 127 will place in line number 127 so let place this block number 127 place in the line number 127 get it so next case line number uh, next come to j equal to 128 suppose memory block number 128 so we know that case line number i equal to j mod n so 128 modular 128 result will be what zero that means blo um, your block number 128 main memory block number 128 will be placed in which area line zero look but already already there is a block number zero so when block number when uh, cpu request for block number 128 by dividing the technique formula so he is saying that main memory saying is that block no direct mapping saying that block number 120 will be placed in line number zero but already there is what block number zero is present there is already block number zero is present so erase the block number zero so what happened so there is some formula throw there is so there is a formula what uh, there is some techniques um, FIPO technique is there lru technique is there through which the it will uh, place the block number 128 to in line 0 so the block number 0 will be erased and block number 120 will be present because uh, at that time when he will requesting for 128 means uh, already block number 0 task may be finished there okay similarly we have to calculate the direct mapping techniques so this is this is the direct mapping techniques so next uh, uh, direct mapping uh, technique and uh, some things is there in uh, in direct mapping in direct mapping there is no need of any replacement algorithm this is because a main memory block can map 
only to a particular lines of the cache okay so memory replacement or you can say what i told you lr um, people is not required in your direct mapping because uh, it is already when uh, 127 or 120 is request already block 0 task is finished okay so next the new incoming block will always replace the existing block if any if that particular lines hmm. what i told you if there is when block uh, when the cpu is uh, requesting for block 128 so after calculation the block 20 block 120 will be placed in cache line 0 but there is already one block is there so we have to replace that one and place the block number 128 okay so disadvantage what are the what is the disadvantage there is a high conflict miss that means we had to replace a cache memory block even when other block is block in the cache memory where present are empty look so what is the disadvantage look suppose there is uh, block 0 is accessed and after that block 127 is accessed okay so only two access is uh, done by the cpu but in third access block 120 is accessing by the cpu so when i will assess the block 128 h per formula he has to place what line 0 but look only this two block are full but rest blocks are empty so i can place here but by the help of direct mapping technique we cannot place the block 128 any empty place we have to place only in line 0 because there is a particular formula to direct mapping okay are you getting me actually main bolna ye chahta hu ki dekho agar cpu aapka teen request bheja hai pehle request kya hai block number block number 0 ko to block number 0 aake cache memory mein cache memory line 0 mein baith jayega again cpu ne request send kiya hai 120 block number 127 ka to 127 aake cache memory mein kahan par baith jayega line number 127 mein baith jayega तो ये दो सपोज ब्लॉक जीरो इज देयर एंड ब्लॉक 127 ट्वेंटी सेवन इज इन योर कैश मेमोरी सो रेस्ट लाइन आर फ्री नाउ ना बाकी जो लाइन है अभी फ्री है तो नए थर्ड में जब रिक्वेस्ट भेजा 128 ट्वेंटी एट बाई द सी पी यू तो ये वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी आके कहीं पर भी बैठ सकता है क्योंकि यहाँ पर फ्री है लेकिन यहाँ पर बैठेगा नहीं क्योंकि डायरेक्ट मैपिंग का पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला है वो ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट होकर रहा है कि वो जो फॉर्मूला के हिसाब से वही लाइन में बैठेगा जाके मतलब ये यहाँ पर बैठे नहीं बैठेगा वो जाके वो लाइन जीरो में ही बैठेगा जिसके जिसके वजह से क्या हो रहा है प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रहा है कि हमें ब्लॉक जीरो को हटाना पड़ रहा है मे भी कुछ टाइम के बाद सीपी को चाहिए वो डेटा लेकिन ये हो नहीं रहा है सो दिस इज द डिसएडवाटेज सो हाउ कैन वी ओवरकम टू ओवरकम दिस ड्रॉबैक डायरेक्ट मैपिंग टेक्निक द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एसोसिएटिव मैपिंग टेक्निक इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सो सो देर इज टू ओवरकम दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव एन अदर टेक्निक इज कॉड वर्ड एसोसिएटिव मैपिंग टेक्निक आर यू गेटिंग मी सो डायरेक्ट मैपिंग में क्या होता है डायरेक्ट मैपिंग में जब कैश मेमो सी पी यू कोई भी रिक्वेस्ट भेजता है डेटा इफ द डेटा इज नॉट प्रजेंट इन द कैश मेमोरी देन द कैश मेमोरी अगेन सर्च इन मेन मेमोरी and we if um, search for main memory and it will bring the data from main memory to cache memory and how the data will be placed na there are number of blocks in main memory but there is less number of because the size of main memory is huge yeah are you getting me the size of main memory is huge but the size of cache memory is less so the problem is there तो डायरेक्ट मैपिंग में एक formula hai jiske through number of block ko hum cache memory mein dal sakte hain तो पहले अगर सब हर ब्लॉक को रिक्वेस्ट भेज रहा है तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है वन ट्वेंटी सेवन स्टोर हो सकता है लेकिन उससे ज़्यादा जब रिक्वेस्ट भेजेगा तो यहाँ पर इशू क्रिएट होता है ठीक है अगर छः सात रिक्वेस्ट भी भेजा लेकिन ब्लॉक नंबर फोर छः सात रिक्वेस्ट भेजने के बाद ब्लॉक नंबर फोर जीरो नाइन फाइव को सेंड किया रिक्वेस्ट उसको चाहिए सी को चाहिए तो ये क्या करेगा जो खाली जगह है वहाँ पर बैठ सकता है लेकिन ये बैठेगा नहीं वो फॉर्मूला के हिसाब से जो स्प्लेस कैलकुलेट होगा उसी प्लेस में जाके वो बैठेगा सो so, यही है प्रॉब्लम कि ये फ्री स्पेस को यूटिलाइज नहीं कर सकता है डायरेक्ट मैपिंग सो देर इज़ ए अनादर मैपिंग टेक्निक इज कॉल्ड एसोसिएटिव मैपिंग टेक्निक इट इट